field. So the black man drives up and down this, this, up and down these roads. They say this is the way you go get your money. You gotta go over here, go down yonder, go over there, go over here. Okay, that's how you're gonna get your money. All right. Our only means of transportation is in one of these driving coffins, right? So then they start setting up these laws. And we gotta realize where did where did this policing come from? It came from the the uh the slave runners. When there were slaves that were uh uh running away, the slave patrol. You would have the so-called white man uh, sending his wicked seed after our people to put them in bondage. They make laws that directly attack the so-called black man, woman, and child. Okay? There was a law that was established right when slavery was so-called abolished. There was a law that was put into place that if you don't have a job, you will be put into onto a uh, uh, onto a, uh, a slave plantation to work for for amount of years okay so what would happen what let's look at what happened these people just abolished slavery but then turn around and tell and, and set a law and then what was the business owners doing were they hiring black people right when slavery was was abolished of course not because they want that and then that's when they start showing all these offensive cartoons and all these offensive they had gift shops set up of 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 you know basically making the black man woman a child be looked at as a proverb which is demeaning us as a people very highly offensive okay in their in their uh, ways towards us creating entertainment menstrual uh, shows about us okay making us look like fools and yes we gladly put those masks on today but that's a whole nother story. But anyway, we, 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 we became a laughing stock, a shaking of the head to the people that was to the heathen that was around about us because they pushed us into these situations. That's why the scripture said uh, that they helped, that they furthered the affliction. Christ, Yahweh said, I was only a little displeased, but you furthered the affliction. So who is that talking about? Our captors, the people who led us away captive. Okay. They furthered the affliction with all the offenses that they had put on the so-called black man, okay? And the so-called black woman, and the so-called black child, and the so-called Hispanic and Native American man, okay? Y'all say, why do I say Hispanic and Native American man? Because they suffer some of these same curses. Cursed shall they be in the city. Cursed shall they be in the field as well, okay? We all get chased down by the cops, okay? And, it, and listen, I know we live in, 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 in cruel habitations in this earth where our own people do some heinous crimes to each other. I know this, but guess what? Even the ones who are living according to the way that things are supposed to, according to the way things are supposed to be done, working a job, trying to take care of their woman, okay, doing the right thing, guess what? They even more oppressed than the, than the so-called thug. They even more oppressed than a so-called lazy black man. They even more oppressed. The ones that's trying to live according to this system of oppression. Okay? The so-called black, the black man, woman, and child that's trying to live according to this system in righteousness. Okay? Being led astray, being led to the slaughter. Okay? Like sheep. Okay? So, this is the, 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 the crafty council. Okay? And the laws that was established by mischief, okay? They they want to destroy. They want to, they are for violence, okay? Our people are for peace. We just trying to look for somewhere to work and be honest in this system. A lot of our, our, our understanding, our, what you would call an honorable man, according to this, this world, okay? Because the Lord said you can be honorable, but don't have understanding. And you, you know, and it's, no, it's, it's vanity, man. But look, the honorable man is, is, is receiving those same oppressions. The same oppressions, okay? So it says, curse shall thou be in the city, curse shall thou be in the field. And that's the so-called black man. This is, the, this is a curse that's on the children of Israel. So let's look at the counterfeit, okay? Let's look at the counterfeit. The counterfeit is not, his life isn't this way, okay? Play close attention. 
He doesn't have, have a life where he's cursed in the city, cursed in the field. The so-called Jewish man has a has a has a, 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 a place to live, has communities, okay? Even down here in the South, has communities. They set up businesses, okay? They do all these things. They have all of these goodly things. But our people are out here spoiled. Our people are out here being oppressed. Our people are being shot in the streets and nobody's try to come and help us, okay? We the ones that have no helper, okay? And we gotta understand that, we gotta understand um, that these things are unique to us. So that's a curse that shows that we are the children, all right, right there. I could close the book on that, okay? And bring out the laws based off of how Israel, the, the, the hopeful elect are explaining these, these curses. That one curse, man, that one curse that have you, uh, will have you understand it. will have a, 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 a man of understanding, okay? A man that standeth by and hear and understand. He, you can close the book on that and start going on and, or, or go to the laws, okay? Tell him to get in, these work, in this work. So that's what we out here doing, man. We gotta, we, we putting this word out there so that our people can wake up. We on the highways and hedges trying to do the work so that our people can wake up and do what thus said the Lord, all right? That's what we're trying to do. Okay? So it says in Psalm 72 and 12. Let's get Psalm 72 and 12. Okay. I don't have an audience out here right now. You know, people passing by. And, and people know I'll be down here. But you know what? They want to spread out and go down there and sit, sit, go far from me. Because listen, when you run, the wicked run when no man pursueth. Our people are being out here being wicked. Our people want to sit out here and be in folly and in madness, man. That's why they wanna, they don't wanna hear the word of truth. That's why they wanna run away and move away from their brother. But listen, if I was playing some Cardi B, if I was play, pr playing some, some future, if I was playing some wicked Israelite music, if I was playing some wicked Negro music, then I have everybody standing around me. If I had a bunch of women out here twerking, I have brothers over here. But now nah, you don't wanna hear truth. You don't wanna hear what thus said the Lord. You don't, want to, you don't want to hear the good things that will stop the oppression, the things that you are facing. on. The, you don't want to hear the things that will give you understanding, peace of mind. Okay? Like, 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 uh, uh, like it says in Psalms 72 and 17, I believe. It says, them, it says, but when I knew their end, okay, let me pull that. Get that Psalm 73. It says, when, uh, and verse 16, Psalm 73, verse 16. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me until I went into the sanctuary of Yahweh, okay, who the world calls God. When I went to the uh, sanctuary of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh the Lord my power, then understood I therein. So we're supposed to be understanding our oppressor's end. We're supposed to be seeking for righteousness. But our people, listen, like I said before, if I was out here having a bag of weed, if I was out here having a bunch of women out here twerking, if I was out here having, having uh, music going all out here, our people, my people would be all around me. But now, but no, that's not what our people want. They want to hear, they want, I mean, but that's what our people want, folly. But I'm out here preaching the word. I'm out here bringing the word to our people. But you know what? Our people are so scattered. And, and, you dropped the glove, miss. Our people so scattered and spoiled that, that th their, their mind only wants to attack. They quick to do evil when they hear this word, when this truth come out. Okay? When this truth come out, they they quick to do evil. Here I am with a Bible in my hand, and our people, our people don't want to do, our people don't want to uh our people want to avoid. Our people avoid me like like they should be avoiding a white man. Okay? Our people should be avoiding their oppressors as such but they avoided me like you say when you justify the wicked the so-called white man who runs this earth 
When you justify the wicked and condemn the just, I'm standing up for justice. Psalms 120, I'm standing for peace, but they are for war. And when you make yourself profane like Esau, you are doing his works. You are doing the lust of your father, the devil, who was a liar from the beginning. And what? You are for war. You are set up to scoff, all right? You are a person that wants to hear sweet things, soothing things. Oh yeah, do what you want to do, smoke that cigarette, smoke that weed. Hey, that stuff is destroying your body. That stuff is destroying you. But it's, a come, it's gonna come a time where there's gonna be famine of this understanding. And then there's gonna be people looking around, all right? Like it says in Jeremiah 4 and 30, uh, uh, 4 and 30 what will you do then? Okay, when the so-called white man, when the enemy come in like a flood, because that's right, the so-called white man in this thing called uh, state of emergency, you know what they can do? You know a martial law? You know what these so-called devils who tortured pe people back in the, in the uh, medieval times and even up to present day? You know what the so-called white man can do that sit up here and shoot up everybody, shoot up everything, commit mass murder? You know what the so-called white man can do in the time when he comes in like a flood? He can do, he's going to destroy you. Yo, yo, dressing up and putting on makeup, women. Yo, dressing up, putting on makeup, trying to appease this devil, trying to appease your lover. Hey, it ain't going to be you nothing. It's going to destroy you. This devil is going to destroy you. That's why the scriptures say, arise ye and depart, Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. For it would destroy you even with a sore destruction. But listen, we know their end. We, we seeking for, we're, we are seeking for, <coughs> <coughs> so like it. We are seeking for the, the wages of the righteous out here. All right? So like it says in 72 and 12. Let's go there. 72 verse 12. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 72, verse 12. For he shall deliver thee, deliver the, the needy when he crieth. Okay? When he crieth. But y'all listen to the so-called white man's doctrine and do what? Oh, you cry. Are oh, you crying? You can't cry when things don't go your way. You see what the white man say? They speak lawfully concerning oppression. Let's get that thing. 73 and 8. They are corrupt. Who is they? The wicked, man. It says the... Uh, here it is right here. Okay? It says... Truly, God is good to Israel, ever such, even, even to such as are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh near slipped. For I was envious at the foolish. So who is they? The foolish. Them that live according to this world. Them that live according to this doctrine. To what? Get riches in this world. Where moth and, 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 and thieves and robbers corrupt and steal. Okay? So the foolish who David was about the who was saying that he well near slipped by being envious at the prosperity of the foolish. Okay? Being envious at the prosperity of the foolish. And the foolish are the people that establish this system. The foolish are they that say that there is no God. Okay? These things we gotta understand. We gotta start to understand. Our people are still walking around here blind. That's why we say, wake up. We say things like, wake up. We say things like, man, stay woke. Because what? We are the ones that have no helper. We are the ones that are in need, okay? We are the ones that are in dire straits, okay? Psalm 72 and 12. For he shall deliver the needy when he crieth. But our people don't want to cry out. Our people want to sit here and love our enemies and hate each other. Our, our brothers want to sit up here, love our in, love their enemies, and hate each other, okay? And where has it gotten us? Nowhere. And then want to turn around and talk about what black people should do. You must be out of your mind. You don't even love your own people, but you want to say what you want to weigh in on what you think the black man should do, okay? That's wickedness and folly, man, and that's madness. We gotta start to understand. What's up, brother? We got to start to understand. We got to wake up. Our people out here following into this wickedness, man. 72 and 12.
So the Lord shall deliver the needy when he crieth. Okay, what is that talking about? We are supposed to be crying out for justice, for what is going on with our people. Not justice according to this world, it start with us. We gotta turn around and walk righteously. We gotta be in order, walk in things that are decent and in order. What's going on brothers, how y'all doing? We gotta walk in things that are decent and in order, righteous things. But you know what? Our people don't want to do that. So we got to wake up. We got to hear what the truth of thus saith the Lord. Okay? Our people want to sit out here and scoff. Our people want to sit out here and be unrighteous. Our people, our people want to sit up here and be comfortable. When, when the so-called white man finna roll on us like a, like, like a, like a flood, then what's going to happen? Then what's going to happen? We rather sit up here and have a vain opinion. We rather have draw opinions about our own brothers. But we don't seek to try to find out. We want to seek to be comfortable in our own spirit. That's not righteous. That is not going off in a good thing. We want to hear things that say, yo, you know, everything good, man. Let's get this money. Hey, listen, brothers out here make more money than us are dealing with more oppression. Okay? You heap it to yourself riches, and what does that what does that do for you? Not a thing. We want, we want to sit up here, like I said before, Ecclesiastic, Ecclesiasticus chapter 3, verse 24. Let's get that. Let's get that thing. Ecclesiasticus chapter. Hey, you got a wife in there. Yeah, I do, brother. In what way? Uh, that's the thing about order in a, in a house of a man you're supposed to rule well your house with wisdom you're not supposed to go off beating your woman dealing with her in a in an unseemly way I'm out here for my people because you know what our brothers hate each other our brothers fight each other try to take from each other okay luckily